Hi friends, uh, in this video we'll have a look at uh, arrays. Okay, so what is an array? Why we need an array? What are the questions that will be asked after uh, learning arrays? That those are the things which we'll be having a look at it in this. First, let's start with the question. So let's have a small problem which takes two marks of students and then adds and prints. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll declare the two variables mark1 and mark2 and get the scan of the variable, we'll scan the variables so that we'll get it and then we'll print it. If it is a 3, the same thing, we'll print 3 variables. What if, if it is 30 subject marks for a person? Let's say uh, arts college or arts science college student will have 5 paper per semester which is like around 6 semester, 6 per 30. So you have to declare 30 variables for it. So that's a painful task. So declaring 1, 2 and 3 and keeping track of all those things. Mm -hmm. So what if, if it is in, uh, if the same student has 50 subjects, that's it. Your, pro your declaration in the program, variable declaration in the program will look like an essay. You have to declare 50 variables. Okay. That's, uh, that's horribly painful thing. Okay. So rather than seeing as a, writing a program, you will start writing an essay. Okay. So is there a solution for it? So that's the answer which uh, we are going to see. Like the answer is arrays, simple. Okay. So the arrays are nothing new. We used to, in our uh, school days, we used to uh, group our gang, group a gang of boys or names uh, who has a cam common attributes uh, with a common name. For example, first bench guys. So all first bench guys would be a studious guys. Like they'll be very perfect. Whereas all the last which guys would be a mischievous guys. So we'll uh, group them, right? The same thing which we are uh, going to see that. Time. So if you look at the previous slide, we had a pattern. All our marks, all the marks are going to be integer. So there are two attributes. One is same data type it is there. And then it is itself the same purpose. So why can't give a same name for all the variables? So how, I mean, how do you give it like? So, if you go to a library, you will find the similarity uh, in there as well. For example, uh, you will find uh, all the comics books in one section, all the history books in another section, all the science books in the, the physics and chemistry books in the third and fourth section. Okay. So, the same way, uh, if you want to, it serves two purposes. One is accessing became easy. If somebody asks for it, go for a physics rack, uh, take the third book. You can easily say that. Okay. So that is called indexing. You index it the same way the arrays, we give all the variables the same name and access them with an index. Okay. So here I have declared four marks int four. Uh, I'm zooming it out. So int, uh, I, I want four way mark variables. So what I did is I gave all them same name with the size of four. So whenever I want to say uh, access the third mark, what I'll do is array of mark of three. Hmm? So, as I said, it's like fourth variable, but I'm saying it's array of three. The reason is very simple. Or in programming world, the index starts with zero. In real world, the index starts with one. Okay, that's the thing. And another uh, a beautiful thing about it is like a, when you ask for a marks of array, like the array size is already locked. So, you don't need to worry about whether I am going to get memory or not, all those things. So, we are going to get a group of bunch of memory locations with the same name and same type. That is very important thing. To refer an element, first you have to give the array name which is mark. So this is called a mark array and the position number where the position is. The, as I said, the position starts from zero. Okay. So you give the position number within the bracket. That's the structure of it. So first element starts with zero. As I said, in programming world, most of the uh, languages, the array starts with zero. If there is an index, the index starts with zero. Okay, if you want to array, access the second element, it's array of 1. So, which is array of n minus 1. Okay, if there are n elements, so it starts from 0 to mark of n minus 1. So, it starts from 0, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. This is a visual representation of an array. If you keep this in mind, all your array problems will be much simpler. So, here I have 12 elements, array of 12 elements with the name C. Uh, it starts from 0. It is an integer array. See, all the values are integer, either a positive or a negative integer, but it's an integer. Okay. So let's go to the sample program. The sample program is very simple. I'm declaring a marks array of five. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, and 40. And I'm declaring another variable. Okay. 
so uh, if i want to print i can do a print mark of 1 mark of 2 print of mark of 3 print of mark of uh, 4 like that instead of that for laziness i am using my for loop to iterate through all the elements <coughs> as we said it starts from 0 so we are ending the loop less than 5 which is 4 and we are incrementing incrementing it okay so once it gets incremented it goes and prints it let's go to the code so, so I, uh, I pasted the same thing in a c file the first line is called initialization where we are declaring and initializing the array with the variable values certain set of values these are the values which is going to be stored in the array and in the next further steps we are just iterating the array and printing it instead of printing you can do whatever you want to do it like a sum, ish, a sum all the arrays or take the average uh, so all the problems you can do in the same way uh, here I have initialized it you can do a scan of as well it's dip, uh, it depends upon how you want to do it let's go to uh, C and compile it gcc array.c hyphen o array.exe let's put it okay so it gets compiled properly without any issues we'll run it and it prints that's it everything is good so it's all i mean array is so simple and sweet concept nothing complicated about it uh so what what next so these are the, some of the common questions when you're sitting in, in an interview you which you will face it so uh, starting from there are few things which you can work out like count and reverse and elements in array and uh, what uh, this is another important question what if i access beyond four what happens you have to answer it can array be resized go and google it you will find the answer this is a, if you understand this you will understand the arrays far better and you can claim that you are an expert in an array okay thank you friends bye bye